Scorpio, welcome to your Celtic cross reading. I hope you're well. I hope you are fabulous. Personally, I'm feeling fantastic, and I hope you are too. So very excited. If you joined us for the mid-month check-in last Sunday, you heard in the intro, I'm introducing a new reading type, a new segment, if you will, called the Sunday Shuffle. Shorter readings, and I've been wanting to do it for some time. The long-form content will remain. But yeah, I'm going to be introducing some short reads specifically for Sunday. And uh, I've been wanting to do it forever. And now that we have cleaned up some energy and freed up some of our time, once more, shout out to Al, our new channel moderator, who is helping make that happen. You guys, I'm so excited. Yay! But let's get to it. Speaking of long form, the Celtic Cross is old school tarot, yeah? It's considered an OG. And for good reason. It's kind of like, as I've been telling folks, Celtic Cross is like sharing tapas. You get a little bit of everything. You get a little sampler. A little this, a little that. And sometimes it's connected. In other words, there's a theme. This is relevant to that, which is relevant to this, which is playing off of this, right? And other times there's complete pockets of, you know, this is going on here, this is something else altogether. We never know, but that's one of the benefits of looking at diverse placement. So, speaking of which, let's get cracking. Show me. <laughs> there you are right there on the split. <laughs> that caught my attention. That's you right there on the split. Somebody looking at you? Perhaps you just started thinking about something? I don't know. What's going on, please? Show me that Scorpio collective energy. 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 What's going on? Like always, the basic rules apply. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Just because it says Scorpio in the title doesn't mean it's for you. It might be for you at a later date, or it might have in the past. Okay? But again, it may not resonate, which again is also normal. In which case, check your other placement so I'll catch you in the next one. If... At any point during the reading, you start to feel uncomfortable or tense or frustrated or angry. I want you to separate yourself from the message. Say this one isn't for me or it's not for me right now. Pause it. Watch it later. Or don't watch it at all. All terror is free will. The point is, is that I don't want you to become upset in your own energy by a message that you may not be comfortable with or it doesn't apply to you whatsoever. Okay? That's it. That's it. I'm not one of these people. I don't want to blow smoke up your ass to keep you hanging around. But I also don't want you to hang around if you're uncomfortable. So, no, I don't push numbers. And I don't push viewership. I push free will. Okay? There you go. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio Collective Energy. Show me that Scorpio. Mm, show me that Scorpio Collective Energy. Okay, let's put it down. Nine of Cups. Nice. Page of Cups. Where where, where does my heart go next? Hmm. <laughs> I'm having fun. Eight of Swords. Somebody else had that in the exact same position. I don't remember who. Okay. Okay. Relevant past the Emperor. What is exiting? Eight. Somebody had these exact same placements. I mean, I'm sorry. At the rate I do these and at the depth I do them, I cannot recall who, but it was one of the Earth signs. Okay, I apologize. I think they had Ace of Swords. Somebody had Ace of Swords in this position and the Ace of... And I promise you, there has been many a shuffle between you and um, the Earth signs. <laughs> okay. Okay. And speaking of Earth, there goes the Hermit. Good. Healing and your immediate future. In-depth healing. The kind that takes time. A lot of wisdom. A lot of patience. But good grounded work in healing. That's why he's the big guns of healing. Seven of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. The outcome... Page of Wands. This is weird. Did there, who the hell was it? It was one of the earth signs they had the same outcome? No? Sorry, honey. I don't remember. I don't remember, but, you know, check. if you have any strong earth orientation in your chart, I, I, boom, we dropped Virgo's card. Doesn't have to be Virgo. I just know it was one of the earth signs. Okay. Um, that is really interesting. <laughs> That's really interesting. So let's go over what we have here today. Your immediate orientation as, you know, Nine of Cups, I feel good. I feel good. I feel love for me. I feel love for my environment. You know, I feel good about my own general disposition. I'm happy. You know, this is personal happiness of thyself, to love thyself and to know that you do. And that's a beautiful feeling to know that you love yourself as you are the way you are. Gorgeous. What's crossing you? Little page cups, like, mm. I might open my heart up towards something because I do feel pretty good, but... 
I don't know. What does that look like? Okay, specifically for us, what does that feel like? Hmm, if I open myself up in any particular direction. Okay, we'll see. And what's hovering around you, that Eight of Swords, can't see. Something here we can't see. Possibly a willful blindness, procrastination. I don't want to think about it. Mm -hmm. Don't want to think about it. In the relevant past, the Emperor might have some areas in your chart. Standing in your power. For some reason, it's coming up as important to your very relevant and or recent past. Uh, something that you had to do, where you had to stand up and make a powerful decision. A powerful declaration. I don't know. But it required you to have a commanding will to do it. That seems to have faded out, but for some reason it's important to you at this time. What's on the exit is the Ace of Wands, a source of inspiration. Um, something that you were personally jazzed up and or fired up by. Okay, something about that's weaning. You no longer have interest for it or passion for it. Um, that Earth sign... I want to say that might have been from whoever their connected person was. It might have been their energetic point of view slipping away. So again, I, I, just... Just start with the placements on the baseline. Okay, you don't have to watch the whole thing. What's coming up for you, as discussed, is the Hermit. A great time for healing, um, but proper restoration healing, right? This is some deep inner work, really walking the path of enlightenment, right? Seven Cups, your strengths. You are willing to open up your heart a little bit. Okay, you may not know exactly what that looks like, but you're willing to explore. Okay? Possibly pursue different areas of love. And what does that mean to you? Okay, because water tends to act through the heart. So that could be anything. Because it doesn't just have to be options in love. Um, four pentacles in your environment. There's just some things that you're holding on to right now. It might feel strategic on your part. What that is you're holding on to in your environment, I do not know. Some of you might have gotten a lockdown on your coin. Um, it may not be that. There might be some things in your environment you're not willing to shift at this time. We'll see. Not too worried about you because the nine of pentacles is right there. You're looking good. As said, you have the two positive nines here, the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, so you're showing me a strong sense of individuation, excuse me, individuation, knowing yourself, what it is you're trying to do, um, and who you are. Uh, so very comfortable decision making I see here. There's just one thing it seems like we're trying to ignore a little bit. But yeah, uh, Nine of Pentacles, it's again, just like, mm -hmm. thank you. <laughs> you know, I mean, I get by, I get by, you know. <laughs> And the Page of Wands is your outcome. Opening up just a little bit. And I already saw that for you here. It doesn't look like it's too big of a deal. Whatever it is, it seems to be at your leisure and at your contemplation. So let's see what you might be considering you're opening yourself up towards. Um, it's very relaxed compared to where you came from. Where for some reason it's looking like you had to put your hard hat on and be kind of rough and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. Let's see what's up with that. Let's start right here with that Nine of Cups. It, right there on the split. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's some. There you are, and there's something here we're trying not to think about. Someone's trying not to think about you. What's going? On? Well, I was like, I'm not trying to think about that Scorpio. Or Scorpio's like, I ain't trying to think about that. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look. I'm very curious now about that Eight of Swords. Yeah. Uh, mm hmm. Active resistance. There's a little bit of an offense in here somewhere. Huh. Show me this Nine of Cups, please. Show me this Nine of Cups. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. For Scorpio. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Nine of Cups. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's almost cheeky, I swear. <laughs> it's like, I know something's coming. I feel it. <laughs> There is something here, but I see you waiting. Three of Wands. Now, it's not like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm dying waiting. It's not like that. You are showing me what looks like reasonable expectation because it's coming from a good place within you in that Nine of Cups. Reasonable expectations that love will come in time. It's almost a literal translation. It's actually quite sweet. Um, I do like that quite a bit. So it's that Nine of Cups again. I love myself. Uh, I know who I am. I know what I like to feel. I know what makes me me, right? And it's that three of wands. So a three of wands always makes me a little nervous when I see somebody waiting, but this is what you call positive or hopeful expectation as opposed to say, I'm just expecting something for no reason. That's what you call false hope, and I hate that. This is good hope because it looks like you're looking forward to something. Um, and it looks quite solid through my eyes in the four of wands and the knight of cups. This is simply, I know something's for me. 
you know. And there might be a little bit of a delay. There might be a little bit of a waiting period, but I'm not sweating it with the Nine of Cups. I feel good. I do. You're saying you feel good. And that your heart is trying to open up in that way of relationship orientation, okay? Um, it's... You're in a place. You're just in that place where you look forward to it. You look forward to the whole process, starting the whole process, being romantic, opening up emotionally, vulnerably, exploring that particular night. Uh, you look forward to receiving it. You look forward to engaging in it yourself. Um, where it's coming from suggests you're in a healthy place and that you're not rushed. Okay, You're not rushed. But who? Who do I open up towards, Christina? I know, I send your strength too. Your willingness too is right there. I love that. You have a true willingness to keep your heart open, to explore it, and for the right reasons in the coordinates to your energy. Relationship relevance. I dare say falling in love. Just the whole experience. You're literally opening up to the experience. Okay? The beginnings of it, as far as I can tell. Uh, yeah, there you go. Nice. You, <laughs> we have to say it all the time in tarot. You need to keep your heart open. You need to keep, and you're doing that. I love it. You know why? Because it's coming from your nine of cups, your true, genuine, emotional self. I love me. I love being me. I like everything about me. You know, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Let's let's look into relationships. Let's try it. It's very sweet. It's very romantic. Um, it's nice. It looks very good on you. That page of cups crossing, not too big. You know, that's what he said. Show me that page of cups, please, and the challenge. What's going on? Show me that page of cups. Show me that page of cups crossing. It's not rushed. It's not beautiful. There's a bit of a delay, possibly even some distance to someone that you might be starting something with on the emotional level. But um, I just see it again as general, reasonable, hopeful expectation. Your heart is legitimately open towards this subject. He's like, I'm open for business. You know, and you're coming from such a good place. It's just started. Oh my goodness. It's just started. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's so beautiful. It's starting or it's about to. Oh boy. Eight of Wands. Oh, I haven't been this. You see how I'm smiling. I'm smiling like an idiot for you. Oh, it's so nice to see you light and happy and you're almost playful. It's like a little Scorpio splashing around in the water. Hee hee hee. That's just, you just, you just look so light and carefree and smiley and happy and it's almost making me sick. It's so cute. It is so cute. Oh my God. You just, you're, that's what you're doing, but it's so freaking cute. You know how it is when you see you catch someone dancing and you don't know that they're they don't know that they're being watched, and it's just pure delight for that person to exist in that moment. Or you catch someone singing and uh, they thought that they were alone, and it's just that pure joy of singing or dancing. That's what you look like right now. It's just pure joy. It's just pure joy. You look so happy and uninhibited. So anyway, so it's just great. It's so wonderful to see. You're like, I've done some mega healing here with temperance, patience. I know my worth. I know my value. Let's start talking. Let's start making it happen. So I knew that page of cups crossing was not a very big deal. It's not and it isn't. It's coming from such a good and healthy place in you. And um, I love this. You've done so much work on yourself. You have put so much into the care and quality of who you are, your worth, your stability, your homestead head of household energy, your finances, but more to the point, and also your physical form, your actual body. Um, some of you might have been healing your physical form as well. I don't know. You look good. You feel good. You are good. You're so very stable, so very reliable. Your heart space is open. You feel good about you. Of course, you have reasonable expectations of starting something new. And uh, the way you feel, I think you're exploring. I do. And I'm seeing what looks like possibly active communication, if not now, then relatively soon. Okay? Um, little something. Little something from somebody. But you're like, I got it. I feel good and I'm ready. You're telling me this. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. I feel, I feel it. I feel the call. <laughs> and I'm ready. You're saying I'm ready. I'm stable. I'm healed. Let it rip. Let it go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let her rip. I love it. I love it. Now, what is it you're trying to ignore? Mm? I love. I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy for you. I love your current. You're glowing. You're just glowing. You're so gorgeous. What was that? Mm. We got to look at that, honey. We got to look at it. Let's take a look at that eight of swords. I'm bugging me. Capricorn on the split. 
I'm telling you it was the earth sign. It was the earth sign. So it's not just the, obviously it's not the same three cards, but the exact placement. Mm -hmm. um, you might have some very strong, uh, one of those earth placements in your chart. It, it could be that you're connected, okay, in some way to that person. Um, I don't know. Okay. Show me the eight of swords, please. Show me the eight of swords, please. That is hovering. You are just glowing, honey. You are glowing. Thank you. I've been working on my glow all summer. Me too. Let me, I don't know if it shows. This camera I use, as much as I love it, it washes color quite a bit. So that's one of the reasons why I have such a vibrant background is to make things pop more. Uh, but yeah, oh honey, we've been, ooh. <laughs> some of it was intended. Okay, I'm actually a very careful tanner. Uh, it's planned. And there's sometimes where it's like, Mm, we stayed at the pool a little longer than I meant to. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's uh, that's why, if you've ever wondered why I have such a colorful background, that's why. Uh, camera washes color. Okay. At least mine does. So, uh, eight of swords, please. One day, honey, one day. One day we're going to get a massive upgrade. That's also what he said. All right, let's do one more. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name's Christina. I'm a little different, happy to be so. Uh, I humor, and my subs humor me, this idea that I have a sense of humor. It's debatable. Um, <laughs> but I'd like to think I did. I know, I know, it's the office. Two of pentacles, six of swords, the ace of swords. Oh, okay. 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 I got some residual cleanup for you up here in the mental space. Uh, so it is active. It's not something that you're trying to ignore. It's still under an influence with you. It's like I left this behind and I need to know that that's my particular truth and you, you're, this, I actually am okay with this and let me tell you why. Typically when people leave a place, situation, circumstance, or person behind, they do this whiffle waffle, I don't think I'm ready, I'm going to go back to it. I don't think I'm ready, I'm going to go back. Okay, you have a lot of warm-up sessions before you actually do the thing. Um, this is after the fact. There is something here that you have already left behind, and it was a strong decision for you with the Ace of Swords. You don't dispute it. You don't dispute it. You say that's a particular truth. I knew it was time to move on from this. And sometimes your mind drifts backwards, and that's when you try to shut the thing down. Okay, uh, so that tells me you are still, whatever this is, you are still trying to achieve your comfort zone with it. You know what I mean? And uh, otherwise, okay, I would typically want to be, what's up with the state of swords? Uh, what are you not trying to feel? What are you not trying to think about? As far as I can tell, it's after the fact and it's still with you. Okay, up here, more so at the mental level. And sometimes your mind drifts backwards and says, did I do the right thing? That's all I got from this. Ultimately, all, only you know if it was the right thing, okay? But at the way that you are accelerating, it's accelerating, you're just comfortable, you're glowing, you're beautiful, okay? Methinks, yes. If you had made a decision that you left a situation, something that you didn't know what to do with it, or it didn't know what to do with you, or it wasn't consistent or cohesive, or it didn't make sense, if you left it behind, and I would just see an absolute mess, that tells me you weren't ready, things were left unsaid or unprocessed. So that tells me, yeah, ultimately only you know if that decision, that undisputed truth, leaving something behind, it still confuses you, and you kind of glance backwards. It doesn't have your full attention. Clearly your energy is preoccupied with other things, positive things, okay? Um, but you can't help but wonder, did I do the right thing? Because I still think about them a little bit. Or the situation could have been a job, could have been a family dynamic. I don't know. It's whatever it is you left behind. Could it be that you literally moved for some of you and you still question it? Um, and then you're like, Eight of Swords, I don't want to give that too much thought. So this is one of the few times I've ever seen Eight of Swords in a positive direction. That's amazing. From my point of view, that's amazing. That's one of the rare times I've ever seen Eight of Swords in a positive orientation. I don't want to think about it. I just know that this is the decision I made. And sometimes I reflect on it. I don't want to think about it too much. It's done. Okay. Um, there you go. I would say that this is normal. You know, like I said, it's kind of like that mental residue. When you kind of... Uh, 
see where you are and you feel where you are. Every now and again, something that's still hovering with you because we haven't completely worked through it. It hasn't completely left us yet. It drifts back into our mind on occasion. And then if you know that you hang in there way too long thinking about it and you don't want to, you're just like, mm. okay, that's all I really know. But uh, why it occasionally drifts back, I don't know. Could be that it's still fresh. That's probably all it is, really. You know? Might be that's still fresh to you. You still have moments where it just jumps up out of nowhere because it's not that old yet. I would still have to say, yes, whatever it is, just because, again, you can't show me this level of activity, positivity, and openness to love, genuinely, to openly love yourself, to know your worth, to know your worth and to know your value, to be stable, is to love yourself. You know that, right? To be stable, to know your worth, is to love thyself. The Nine of Cups just says that you're aware of it. See what I'm saying? That's the difference between water and earth. You can be a King and Queen of Pentacles and have an idea of your worth, but that doesn't mean you can feel it. You're telling me that not only can you feel it, you know it, you live it, and you'd like to maybe share that with somebody. So talk about being emotionally ready, spiritually ready, with all that healing. And physically ready. You know what I mean? You can have an idea of your worth at the monetary level, but that doesn't mean you love yourself, honey. It doesn't mean you love yourself. You mean it. I fucking love that. Oh, okay. See, so yeah, I'm not going to give you too much of a hard time on the Eight of Swords. That is something, as you continue to progress with that Six of Swords and consciously move away from it, that Eight of Swords will pop up, that need to kind of get away from that, that will decrease over time. All right? All right. Show me the Emperor, please, in the relevant past. Very different. Very different from your core energy. At some point in your past, you had to stand up in your power, be strong. Okay. Um, your energy now, currently, is much more relaxed. Show me that Emperor, please. Show me that Emperor, please, for Scorpio. Show me. Show me that Emperor, please. Two of Wands, Page of Swords, Nine of Cups. You had to make a decision to be happy. Uh, and it took you a while to do it. It did. It took you a while to do it. Uh, it started out as a very small concept. And then that small concept with the Page of Swords got a big booster shot. <laughs> and that took time. It did. It took time. That Nine of Cups I'm going on and on about, all right? It took you time. There's a difference between being strong and loving yourself. And it took you strength okay standing in your power and remembering your self-worth for some reason I strongly suspect that you had to be firm and stand in your power for something that had to do with this because it is fading out so I don't quite know what this is and it puts you in a position of having to be in power but it was what you needed to get you into that place of feeling good and loving yourself once more so while it started out small and it took a while for you to get there When you developed into the emperor, for whatever reason you had to be firm and you had to be strong, it also puts you into a state of remembrance to love yourself too. So that was a hell of a booster shot, so that took some time. I strongly suspect whatever it is that you had to leave behind, you had to work your way back into it, remembering who you are, your values, and that sense of self-love. In order to do what I must do, I need to love myself more than whatever that was that you left behind. I strongly feel that they are linked and or related. Okay. Yeah. So while it might have been uncomfortable, it was necessary for you to remember that you love yourself more than whatever it is that you left behind. Alright. Like I said, there's a reason it kind of drifts back. But those thoughts, those memories, you don't want it to completely hijack your current mental state either. So that's why you suppress it. Okay? So again, give it more time, and it will continue to fade. But yeah, as hard as it is, to, that's a hell of a booster shot. It tells me it took a while to get there. It did. But it was really about remembering to love yourself again. 
and uh, loving yourself more means having to make hard decisions. Okay, let's see if the Ace of Wands is related to this. Show me the Ace of Wands, please. Exiting. Something that you felt very fired up about, passionate about, began to wane. You lost hope for it, you lost passion for it. It's so different. You're surrounded by a decision of the past. But that decision and the effect of it has launched you into a beautiful place. Be your own arrow and launch yourself forward. Justice, Tower, Six of Pentacles, you understood almost disastrously. Oh, I'm so sorry. So that's what it is. There's again the core of your present day self surrounded by a decision that still affects you. I think um, you were at peace with understanding what you did and how you had to do it. It was a knowledge you could not continue to fight or ignore or whatever. And it took you a while to remember your empowerment, your worth, and that you love yourself more than whatever the hell this was. And um, you wanted it quite a bit. Until one day you didn't. And it was like that. It was quite strong. But uh, your hope for whatever this is, and I don't know what it is, that's going to come down to you as a Scorpio, your own individual self at the end of the day. But this suggests I know and accept the fact now that whatever this situation is, is not balanced and it probably never will be. It's not fair and it never will be. And in that moment, in that space of understanding whatever that situation, it could be a dynamic between you and someone else, that it's not balanced, it's not fair, and it probably is never gonna, that's when your passion for it began to exit. I don't know if it died but you lost hope for it. It's like a very, okay, like a flame that slowly gets snuffed down, right? And it reduces in size and intensity. But with the radical understanding here of the tower, so let me show you what I'm saying. <laughs> with the radical understanding of the tower, fairness and balance, I can do this. It's the same, it's the same between us. I know it is. You have this concept of it's the same between us, right? It's the same between us, it's the same between, not once but twice. As I often say, that Six of Pentacles is just really not but a reduced version of this. This just has more 3D implication attached to it, real-world dynamics, okay? It's almost a radical understanding that not only is it not fair between you and I, it doesn't mean the same thing either. And that's, that's a hard thing, I know, I know. I know. It's a hard thing. That's a hard day. Not only is it not fair, and it's probably never going to balance between us, I understand that, but it also doesn't mean the same thing. We don't have the same value, pentacle value. You and I don't have the same value either. Talk about a double, right? And the moment you understood that, your hope for it, your passion, your source of inspiration, that spark began to wane and exit. That's a lot of powerful energy. I have, and strongly suspect, like I said, those are very much related. There's the core of who you are today. Indeed, time has passed. Patience, healing, forgiving yourself. We must remember, guys, forgiveness has the implication of temperance. So you see, the angel here is tossing around two cups. You know what that is? That's the reconciliations of one person's individual feeling in spirit. And that's a process. That's why it takes time. It takes time. This took time to get to this beautiful state of being. That meant in your recent past, in order for you to do what you needed to do, you had to remember you loved yourself more than this situation. That you were more powerful and more empowered than this situation afforded. That you're responsible for understanding this knowledge and doing something about it. Even if it still sometimes makes you uncomfortable, the fact of the matter is you still did something about it. And here's why. Your motivation to do what you needed to do, and remember that you loved yourself more than this, was very apparent and it was very real. 
So do keep that in mind. Some things are the favorites, not, and you had a hard, hard understanding that this situation is never going to balance, and it doesn't mean the same thing to either one of us, or it doesn't match up. I just learned that shit right here, right now. The flame starts to reduce. That means your passion, your involvement, your interest, your ability to keep hope for it. Okay, let's keep cracking. The Hermit is in your immediate future. Interesting. Interesting just because, again, huge indication of healing, which you've shown me so much of, ample already at this point. So let's see. It's like, well, I, I mean, I was healing, but I think that should do some more. <laughs> that could be true. For sure. So let's see that Hermit. Let's see. But I don't want to jump to any conclusions yet. The, the, the. Honey, everything that surrounds you is, it makes perfect sense. You're Scorpio that did what you needed to do. It was never too late. The power is always with you. You had to love yourself more. You saw that. You did something about it. And look, it's paid. It's not that it's paid you. It's just put you into this beautiful energy that had it been any other way, you would not be where you are today. You've learned so much, you've grown so much. But more than all of that, honey, you remembered you had to love, love yourself more. And it's true, when you understand that you love yourself and not just your worth, but when you actually love yourself, there's nothing you can't do. Okay? Show me that hermit, show me that hermit, show me that hermit, please. I'm very curious about this hermit. What's he doing? Why is he here? Maybe, maybe you feel like you're not done. I don't know. Could be there's a Virgo in your future. Oh, yeah. Show me. <laughs> Show me that hermit, please. Show me that hermit, please. Show me that hermit, please. The magician. Two of cups, two of swords. I don't know who this is. Could be you, could be someone else. I mean, you're so much at peace. And I will remind you, you're welcoming so much love energy. You are. You're welcoming it to you like this. You're open to it. You're not trying to pull it. You're not even trying to manifest it. You're just welcoming it into your life. I mean, literally, this is the definition of being open-hearted with beautiful expectation because it comes from, again, you, when you love yourself. When you well and truly love yourself, first of all, you can't put a price on that kind of feeling. Sometimes you got to remember it the hard way. It's not the point. When you love yourself, you really don't need to manifest. You're just open. You're open to experiences. You're open to love. You're open to be impacted by this life because you want to be because you're not afraid. Your heart's not afraid. You're just open. Again, it's precious. And you can't put a price on that. You've seen tarot. Maybe you've seen a lot of mine. This is not easy to come by. And I don't see it often, so it's beautiful. So I'm not quite sure who this is. I'm not. My point is, I'm not necessarily convinced it's you. Um, it's interesting. It's different. The hermit, the magician, two of cups, two of swords. Now this is someone who is actively uh, manifesting. They're saying they don't quite know how to do it. They'd like to. They have the ability to walk the path of enlightenment, deep thinker. Um, they have the tendency within them to want to heal. And they are manifesting. They're manifesting love, specifically two of cups. I don't know if it's aimed at you. I, it must be, because I don't know why else it would be here. <laughs> so, um, and the two of swords, but they're saying they don't quite know how to do it, or if they should. So that's a lot of confusion for a very simple concept. I would like to heal my cups with, I believe, you. And somebody is willing this. Um... It's right around the corner from your energy. It might be active starting now, upwards to Virgo season. I don't know. Um, you know, but if you're going to manifest, you have to know that you're doing it. So this person, even with the Two of Swords, the Hermit, he's such a big guy. But if the Hermit's not going to acknowledge that he's manifesting healing cups with you, then he's going to just keep wandering off in different directions. I mean, the Hermit's a beautiful guy, but... 
he can get so up in his head that he stops following whatever pathway he intended to be on, gets diverted, talks himself out of things. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and take this fork when I meant this, but yeah. you see what I'm saying? So this person, whoever this is, they would like to pull forward the love with you, to heal it, to work through it in a beautiful, steady way. And they are manifesting, but it's like I can't see that I'm manifesting. And I don't know why they're telling themselves that. They need to know that they're manifesting this or they're never going to be able to see the path they're on. Um, so I don't know how this helps, but if you feel a particular pull in your energy that um, someone wants to approach you to work out their cups with you, um, if you find yourself thinking about this person often and you don't know why, that could be a little bit of what that drifting back is. It could be that person. It could be could be somebody, honey. Otherwise, if it weren't for that Two of Swords, I say this person's got really good intentions um, with a really good ability. But they have to know that they want it. I mean, not just wish for it in the back burner of their heart and in the back burner of their mind and spirit. They have to openly acknowledge this. Otherwise, you're just kind of there saying like, I want this, no I don't. I want this, no I don't. I want this, no I don't. Maybe it'd be nice. It'd be nice. I mean, it'd be nice. I don't know how. So saying I don't know how automatically kind of rules out the manifestation. So when you, <laughs> when you have manifestation and we need to learn this, as soon as we start to doubt ourselves with the Two of Swords, you start to erase your own wants. And it's like, well, I manifested and nothing happened. And that's because you denied it as soon as you started to feel it. But I don't know how it's going to happen, so <laughs> stupid, right? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to work out the cups, but, and there goes that but, Two of Swords, but fill in the blank and then nothing happens. So that's why a lot of people don't believe in manifestation, because their first thing to do as a human that's very used to negativity and expecting the worst will shut things down as soon as they begin to feel it. So what this person feels is actually quite normal, quite natural, and strong. I would like to manifest healing my cups with Scorpio. And then there goes the but. But, X, Y, Z, and therefore nothing happens. It's, like I said, if it weren't for that guy, this would be fantastic. You know? It, it, it would absolutely happen. But you have to know that you're doing it, that you want it. Otherwise, it just stays in this tension in the back of you that gets no room to breathe, no room to exercise. Well, it's the Two of Swords. It's a little far out of my reach, but it's, it was the Two of Swords. I'll remember that. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> no, it's Two of Swords. Two of Swords, that shouldn't be hard, right? Okay. I would say good luck to this person. Um, as soon as you feel the moment of manifestation, don't pull it back. Um, and then you will know what to do. Like I said, you can want, 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 but if you're not willing to do anything about it, or as soon as it pops up, you're uncomfortable with it, you pull it back, retract it, oh no, you get scared, you turn it off, you turn it down, you turn it away. You just completely nullified your manifestation. And, and people like this is crack. Oh no. Hmm. Oh, honey, if I could tell you about some of my manifestation experiences. Small, big, whatever. What happens when you allow it to happen, don't shut it down with fears and anxieties and I don't know what to do. When you stop doing that and you allow it to flow through, you get that feeling of not only have you been heard, by the universe, or energy, or whatever you want to call it, you also start to understand what to do. Anyway, uh, yeah, okay, Seven of Cups, your strengths, you are willing. Like I said, to open your heart, that's beautiful. Consider options in love to let it come towards you because you love yourself. I'm not saying you're perfect, honey. I'm not saying you're perfect. Um, obviously, you had to go through some heck. That was pretty strong heck to get where you are. Nonetheless, nonetheless, I'm trying to, I'm trying to dial in the, what is this seven cups please? 
I'm having a hard time dialing that one. What is this, Seven of Cups, please? What is this? There it is again. That's why I was having a hard time dialing it. I don't know that it's necessarily you. Uh, there's the Hermit twice. Huh. Three of Pentacles. They did it. Oh. I wonder, it's like, did you see me? It's like, I'm having a hard time dialing this in, honey. Because <laughs> there's a reason why. It, it, there's this this person again. And after that little lecture, feel free to rewind that if you'd like a recap. Uh, it's like, it's not going to mean anything if they don't acknowledge it. Um, or allow it to happen. And uh, again, you just get that, I want it. No, I don't. I want it. But And as soon as they start to feel it, no, that's stupid. That's silly. It's never going to happen. At some point, they stop doing that. Um, your strengths are reflecting back on their willingness to come forward. So, they they got through it. Um, they want to work things out with you. Here's the 3D energy. I saw the beautiful but troublesome contemplation of the emotional energy and denying it simultaneously. And here's the actual physical. They're showing up again. The Hermit, Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. It was... It was it was slow. The hermit's not necessarily known for being fast. Okay, but that's that's why he's very deep, contemplative. Sometimes he has to wander around and get lost. <laughs> that's just what he does. Uh, but that's why I also take him seriously as the most equipped for healing. Anyway, um, you're telling me you're willing to talk about it. You are. Do you know why? Again, I already saw it for you. Your heart's open and it's beautiful and it's clear and it's crystal crystal clear beautiful uh, you love yourself so when I'm telling you that you're willing to listen to this person and the feelings and explore them lightly reconstructive efforts okay we'll call it friendship sure it's because you're not afraid you're in a very good place so when this person says hey Scorpio I want to talk and work things out you're like, I can listen to that. When you have truly healed from anything, situation, circumstance, family, life, partnerships, whatever, um, and you have forgiven yourself and the situation and whatever else and forgiven them if, you know, you're in that space and it's always a beautiful thing if you can. Um, a reapproach like that, basic reconstructive efforts, let's cooperate, let's heal. We can be we can be friends, we can do this, okay? Then you don't feel threatened at all. That's the beauty of loving yourself. I'm not seeing a threat here. I do believe and have every reason to believe this person was impacted by the decision you made in the past. And I do believe it's the thing that um, also do not apologize for this. It puts you into that state of remembering to love yourself more than whatever the situation was, okay? The one that... You're like, this will never balance. I've lost hope for that. And that it will ever mean the same to you and I at the same time. I've also lost hope for that. And I'll tell you, honey, that was a powerful tower. It hit like that. Um, so, yes, it looks steady, calm, thoughtful, um, and real. So this person slipped out of their emotional, spiritual energy into the application of 3D. I rarely get to see that. This is one of the best readings ever for you. And I'm even kind of proud of whoever this is too, because I always have to distinguish between, well, this is what's going on emotionally and spiritually, but not necessarily in the 3D. So this person's, they did, they did both. They did both. Good for them. I kind of want to be like, good for you. <laughs> not in a condescending way, but because they, they did the work. It, it might have taken them a minute. So I don't know what that means. There's no guarantees here. I just know that you're on the receiving end of it and you're like, okay, I'm open to that. Again, because you're not threatened. You already did your work. You look great. You look beautiful. Like I said, you're absolutely glowing. I mean, this is this is real, guys. This is real expression for me. I don't get to do this too often. You know, I love this. I absolutely love this. Okay, what's you holding on to in that four of pentacles in the environment? Oh, oh, oh gotta speed it up. As much as I'm enjoying this, and I am, we are now under an hour. <laughs> I've been doing so good. I am so proud of myself. 
you know, because it's not enough to manifest it. I got to make it happen. So, I, and then again, it became more feasible. Uh, so, Four of Pentacles. Yay! But I am so excited to introduce the Sunday Shuffle. Um, so, yeah. Any questions about that? Go check out the intro for the mid-month. It was quite the whopper. Okay. Show me that Four of Pentacles, please. Show me that Four of Pentacles. Show me that Four of Pentacles. I have to go back and look at the earth signs now because of those three placements. That's messing with me. I have a lot of Virgo here today. Uh, I have a lot of Virgo here today. But uh, again, it could have, yeah, for some, it, for some, it could have been Taurus too. I can't remember. Show me that. That's messing with me. Show me that four of pentacles, please. Oh, uh, maybe it's best I don't remember. I don't know. There's a reason why, honey. Thanks, Tinder. We're going to wipe the slate because I carry around too much in my head enough as it is. All right. The six of wands, the moon, the seven of pentacles. Oh, um, somebody had, again, I don't know who this is. I, I have a reason to believe that you two have a kind of shared environment, possibly. But there is this kind of secret pleasure here. Okay. Um, for somebody. There's a secret, I say secret, it's not like it's bad, but there is that sense of, of secret growing pleasure in somebody. And it's, it's, there, there's a reason we haven't let it go. Okay. Um, it has to do with confidence and building over time with that seven of pentacles. Very slow, very slow. I got to take my time with this. I, there's, th there's a huge emphasis here. I need to understand things in my own time, or I need to understand things in my own way. And then therefore my actions are around that. So... I see that when you acted, you acted swiftly, um, but it was done through the emotional sense of I have to love myself. So again, that tends to be much quicker on the water level than say that all this earth energy I'm seeing here. Um, it, yeah, confirmation for some of you. Um, so there is a sense here in the environment, which I do believe whomever this is, is somewhere within your proximity. You seem to share very similar overlapping pentacle structures. Um, you two might have had a very familiar working environment. Okay, there might have been some overlap there in some way uh, because there is this familiarity in the 3D structure that you both share. I don't quite else to put it, but uh, stomping grounds, you know how to work together or you have physically worked together before, um, very close in terms of housing proximity, that kind of thing. There's a comfort zone there between you two in the 3D. Um, despite the value of it not being the same. Anyway, I'm sorry, I I try to be thorough, but then I get lost like the hermit. <laughs> so the four of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the moon, the six of wands. Somebody here in this dynamic could be one of you distinctly or both of you in some way, in some measure, no matter how small, no matter how small. Um, we've Somebody here has been holding on to this with a growing feeling that it would feel maybe one day good to make this happen and it's kind of a motivator for somebody um, to want to work through this to resolve it uh, it's kind of a pride thing but also I need to feel good about this kind of thing I don't see it as being an ugly mark on anybody it's just part of what somebody somewhere is experiencing and uh, one of the reasons that we held on to it okay you are you once more those lovely nines the nine of pentacles let's see what's going on for you <clears throat> for some of you, Leo season. Show me that nine of pen yeah. For some of you, Leo season. Show me that nine of pentacles, please. Show me that nine of pentacles, please. Show me that nine of pentacles. Hopes, fears, hopes, fears. Just you. Excuse me, being an individual. Show me that nine of pentacles, please. Show me that nine of pentacles. <clears throat> I apologize. We're doing two beverages today. One's coffee and one is um. What is this? La Croix. La Croix. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that's better. Show me that Nine of Pentacles, please. Show me that Nine of Pentacles. Show me that Nine of Pentacles. Show me that Nine of Pentacles, please. Ten of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, 
Yeah, you personally, you personally, you personally, you are all up in this, honey. The Nine of Pentacles twice for you. Some of you are just so good at what you do. You're so well-founded. You're so capable. You're so standing upright in your own two feet. I love this, as you know, or you might know now. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is one of my top favorite cards in tarot. I just love it, and I understand it. I Really, I do. So that strong sense of I am highly competent. I take pride in my own efforts. I take pride in what I can accomplish because I can bank on it. I can literally take everything I've done to the bank and cash it. Thank you very much. I'm in good standing. Because it's one away from 10, baby. One away from 10. I love this. Some of you are just so fiercely independent, but not that. It's just like, I'm good. <laughs> I know how to make me thrive. Thank you. Um, and guess what? Whatever that break was, I don't know what this is. Again, could be family. I'm saying this, however, as the overarching concept of emotional harmony. Whatever that break was, first of all, and this is the most important piece, I saw it back here, it kind of reaffirmed who you are. You might have lost track of that or lost sight of that at one point. Because again, the emphasis here is I had to love myself enough to make this decision. Okay? I agree. And that puts you into an emperor, and I don't think you're otherwise that kind of hard, you know. Um, I think you're more or less this optimistic, I'm happy, I'm healthy, and I love me, and I love my life. I feel good. But my point is, is that, uh, do remember, this break helped you remember strongly, not once, twice, three times, who you are, what it is that you are, what you're about, what your values are, that kind of thing. But your emotional expansion is exactly that. Um, it's looking like I think we harmonize with whatever this is. Okay, the breakage. And you feel better about you in this dynamic. You went from a 9 to a 10, so it tells me not only do you love yourself, but that you have kind of found an emotional peace with whatever this is. Um, and I think that's why you two are trying to do something here in terms of reconstructive efforts, no matter how small. But this is the core concept, is that without this break, whatever this is, it gave more to you. It didn't take away from you. It put you back into remembering who you are and what your worth is. And I see you being at peace with this and with yourself. Okay? Outcome is that page of wands. Oh, yeah, we got to wrap it up. We got it. Not even for you. I love you, but not even for you. I cannot exceed an hour. Again, if you'd like to know why. Check out that mid-month. Okay. Show me that page of wands. Show me that page of wands. If we don't get around to an oracle, that's fine. You don't really need one, do you, honey? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't really need one. Show me that page of wands, please. Opening back up. Little guy. That's okay. I already saw something like that for you at your opening. Um, but let's see. Let's see what you're opening up to. Being curious. Four of Cups, the High Priestess, the Nine of Swords. Okay. Okay. Well, you know. Just use your intuition, honey. You know, there's, if it doesn't feel right, then it's not. And if it does feel right, then it is. Um, I'm just seeing what looks like here an expression of, um, you know, I used to worry uh, Nine of Swords. I used to worry about the emotional upset, and I was disappointed, yes. My intuition has helped me around these things. I'm more open than I was. And I can kind of see things differently and feel things differently now. So while you might have been very, very anxious or very, very disappointed, your outcome says my intuition is so much bigger than this. And I think what's one of the things you're telling me has caused so much discord between you and the situation is that you didn't listen to yourself more. Okay, because now we have that negative nine that says it takes away from me. I think many of you, wherever that past situation, and this is what you're learning or you're opening up towards uh, with this situation and any other situation you might find yourself in in future. I got, in, and this is true for Scorpios, 100% of the time. I never got so much hurt or in trouble as when I didn't listen to myself, right? When I ignored my intuition when I ignored my thoughts 
and where they were coming from and I was ignoring my feelings and the feedback I was getting. Intuitively, I knew what was going on, but I didn't want to listen to it. So now, whatever it is that you open yourself up to, the idea is to not repeat that particular pattern because four cups is an emotional pattern. We don't want to do that again, right? You have to remember that whatever it is and whomever it is you engage with, you have to love yourself so much more than whatever that is if it starts to hurt or you have to talk yourself out of something or you're not listening to yourself because it's not going to be worth the destruction it causes. Yeah? So by all means, be open, be curious, but don't ever put yourself in a position where you're not listening to yourself. Okay? Um, that was a good lesson for you. Um, and keep that lesson with you. So by all means, continue to be open. Page of Wands, little guy, that's all right. But always take your intuition with you. Always. Don't ever ignore your signals. Don't ever ignore your feelings. Okay? Because then that takes away from you. At the rate that you are going, I'm not too worried about you. Um, what this will look like, I do not know. Other than it looks like a restoration project that's quite manageable. Okay. In the general sense, I do see you being open to love, life, relationships, and you do good by you. And um, never allowing that to deviate from your life again. Um, after that, I do not know. You know, this is the outcome based on what I'm seeing here. Okay? So listen to your instinct. This either feels right or it doesn't. You either feel good about it or you don't. I just see you keeping optimism and keeping yourself open towards it in a small way where you listen to yourself more. Okay? But in terms of whom you're talking to, I don't know. There is something there. It is. Yeah. Full moon in Taurus. Detoxify. That's a great summary, I think. Absolutely. Um, again, there's more of that earth energy. New moon. In Didn't I say that? You have to launch yourself forward like an arrow into the sky. Yes. New Moon and Sagittarius. Some of you might have some very strong Sag in your chart then. New Moon and Sag, focus on the positive. Yes, you are. Excellent. Uh, I think those two work great together. Absolutely. Full Moon and Taurus, and we did some very strong detoxifying, perhaps for some of you. Um, last Taurus season might have been important for that very reason, and that uh, you've been detoxifying ever since. But it's not just about purging, guys. It's knowing that you have to love yourself enough to do those things. Um, healing with yourself, reconciling with yourself, so on and so forth. So continue on in that positive vein. I know that seems kind of like a want, but if you are reestablishing something, trying to work it out, you're going to need to listen to yourself more, more in the dynamic you might have had with it in the past, you didn't. My thing is that you are more than competent and capable of doing so, but all tarot is free will. I'm not, you know, for the Scorpio who resonates, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. And the Scorpio I'm looking also says, you're capable, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But it's looking like you're choosing to because you can. You know you can. You're listening to yourself now, and it's reflected. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I love this. Your core is brilliant. It's beautiful. It's on point, and it's going to carry you very far into the future. I love how that you are open to love because you love yourself. And that, among anything else I've seen here today, yes, hard lessons, hard objectives, hard decisions, it puts you into the position that you are now. That's the biggest takeaway here. So while it's lovely to see this, it is, this is the core. All right, that's enough. I'll see you in approximately two weeks for your next reading. Take care. Be well.